welcome to my channel, Mark Savage here. It doesn't matter whether you like motorbikes, touring, sports bikes, mopeds, even if you like cars, slow, sport ones, it don't matter. The next video is going to be one for you. Everybody, and I mean everybody, loves a proper truck. And this next video is Mark Savage's cousin. <laughs> I'm gonna hand it over to him. Well, howdy there! Mark Savage's cousin here, all the way from the US of A. I say yes. Today, yes sir, we'll be looking at a proper truck with eight cylinders, goddamn eight cylinders. None of these three cylinders that your little cars have. Uh-huh. This here, 1991, 302 Windsor engine. Five liters, that's five liters, V8. Now that's a proper engine, a proper truck. And as you can see, it's a nice, beautiful spray job. Now, come on now, let's all look around this car. Fuck it. Now, come on now, let's all look around this truck. We're talking about a muscle motor with muscles, uh-huh. Cause you've gotta have muscles to drive one of these cars. Fuck. I'm talking about proper muscles for proper muscle pickup. Cause you've gotta have muscles. Yeah, yeah baby, uh-huh. She could do it a good clean, but this model's got two, two petrol tanks. That's mighty fine if you ask me. Now as we walk around it in a minute, we're going to look under the hood and have a good look on the inside. Can you see that sparkly paint there? That is just gorgeous. Shame I got caught in the rain yesterday. Oh, is it be sparkling by now? She's short wheelbase. Why did I buy this particular truck? Well, let me tell you, it had everything I wanted already done. And I, had, I added a 5.0. And I added some extra stoplights. And here in the UK, you gotta have these fog lights. And here in the UK, you gotta have reversing lights. So I thought, I might as well show up the whole back side of it. And uh -huh, that's a reversing camera. That was quite easy to fit, to be honest with you. And you just can't help but love these pickup trucks. So come on, let's have a look under the hood. Now, you're gonna need eight of these sparky plugs, eight of them. Don't get them cheap ones, get some quality spark plugs. Done that already. And if we just pull these out, these are the old HT leads. You what? Should have done. Want me to go? That's not nice. I'll go then. No. Go. Go. So the firing order. Hmm. I think that's enough, my cousin, don't you? Let's have a look under the bonnet. So what's in today's video except me acting a little bit strange? We're gonna find out today about insuring one of these, about the fuel tanks, miles per gallon, and what they actually like to drive. And let's be honest, with the review. Oh, and these are not Haynes manuals. They make no sense whatsoever. These trucks have to apply... These trucks have to adhere to very strict emissions in America, especially this sort of year. And it's got loads of air pipes that go around in the chambers that don't really do an awful lot. And this says it tells you exactly how to do it. And it's just like some lines, not pictures. Very complicated to read this. Thanks, Ford. So you got a good look around this beautiful truck. The reason why I bought this one was it had a beautiful paint job and the underneath was done as well. Let's have a quick look. All been nicely 
bonded we sat with the light into a dam the rear bed's been done as well I'll get to the interior in a minute five litre engine when I first got this, I was getting about 16 to the gallon, driving about 55 miles an hour. You don't need to do more than that, if I'm really honest with you. And I'll explain why in a bit. I've done the HT leads, points, plugs, and air filter. Oil change. I'm getting about 18 miles to the gallon now. That, for a big truck like this, is amazing. And I'm really quite happy with it. It is a smile a mile. You just can't help but smile. Something you do panic about, this one, and this one makes me not panic so much. Now the manual says that, well, and a couple of reviews, this one's got a 19 gallon tank and this one has an 18 gallon tank. Well, let me tell you that's not true as far as I can work out. I fill this tank and I'm driving around about ooh, 180 mile and I'm putting about 10 gallons back into it. But it says I'm right under the quarter. I can't see but another eight gallons in there. And being a worrier, I'd worry about fueling, you know, you panic, especially when you get 18 miles to the gallon. It's so nice having this verve tank in here. And I put about 30 litres in there. Um, what's that in gallons? Uh, I don't know, seven, eight gallons. Um, so I'm quite happy to know I've got like seven or eight gallons in reserve plus my original tank as well. I've not gone right down, but I can't see there being 19 gallons in there. Correct me, maybe they've changed them somehow or when it was done up again, someone's put smaller tanks in. But I'm so happy having them two tanks. As I alluded to, we've got the original back lights and I put these in, I think it look very nice. I also fitted this reversing camera, which does sort of help. And these are brilliant, they light it up. I did want to start playing with it. No, I could have got a bar across the top and then these fog lights here, but I've stopped because I want to actually keep it the original look. Let's get this uh, hood down, shall we? Air filter, radiator, had a small little leak. I've drained all the oil, water out of here and I've put the best possible um, antifreeze I could get and I popped it in here and I kept an eye on it. I've done a little bit of detailing. I painted that red. Maybe I shouldn't have now in hindsight. It doesn't look as good as I thought it was going to turn out. Uh, and I've also fitted these tiny little wires, which are a little solar panel. They are brilliant. I've got to say, just keeps the battery topped up because you're not going to use these as a daily drive. Jack's that size. And over there is your spanner for the wheels. You lock in nut, whatever it is. Get this big bonnet down. Oh, and there you go. Now you might see the Mexican rug in the back. The reason why, some of you have seen my last video, I've got a little Rottweiler now. You're gonna to get to see it at the end of the video when I get home. Um, and we're gonna take it to shows with this truck. But I'm just not sure about the spotlights. What I'd like to do is get some of the original 80 ones, 1990 ones, you know, the uh, ones with little covers on them. And I thought about putting a big bar across here. I'm not gonna. I would love to get hold of one of those roll bars that go back here and put the big old like KC spotlights on top. I'd love to do that. Just finding this stuff to be honest with you. That doesn't work. Very annoying. Um, I've run the wire and traced it somewhere in here. It's not gonna fail the MOT. Hence why I fitted these. Big old tires. And they really are big old tires. So let me just quickly go through insurance. That's a bit of a minefield. Adrian Flux is probably your best one to go to. Um, there's a few others out there. Uh, the reason I'm with them is because they, they did like 40 or 50 tries and what have you. Now I had the Dodge Dakota videos on my channel and that was like £100 a year. It was a 3.7 litre, still American truck. This is more classic and I paid £250 odd and I want the insurance for breakdown and so on. Got to get breakdown insurance nowadays. So £325 all in I think it was. Quite a bit of more money than I wanted to pay. The reason they're saying is because, and this is the bit difficult one for anybody, they want to know if you drove a left hand vehicle before. Now I've drove loads, I used to chauffeur drive in the big stretch limos many years ago. I'm quite good at it being big headed, that's why I didn't mind driving this. This is an automatic stick shift, I think they call it, column drive. Now the problem is, they want to know if you drove one, you can't say yes, because they want to be insured in one. And most people haven't actually been insured on one of these American trucks. So they say that the first year, good morning ladies. Oh, right? I am, thank you. 
nice couple of cyclists isn't that nice people saying hello still right insurance so they do sting you what they say is after the first year you haven't killed or died or crashed and it will, lot, it will go down the next year so that's something you've got to look into though i'm an old man 49 this year 325 pounds for a year of this well i thought that was quite a lot to be honest with you so as i said in my intro it don't matter if you like motorbikes or cars everybody loves a truck you've got to love a truck i think it's inbuilt in men and women as well gender neutral i think it's just inbuilt you just love a chunky truck now and the pictures this doesn't look as big as it actually is when you're driving it you feel like king of the road you really do and that beautiful v8 burble you have to get a five liter i was originally looking at maybe a mustang and in here in the uk we do a 2.2 eco version that's because you want to drive every day you've got to go for the five litre you need that sound you need that smile as well you're not going to get it from the 2.2 unfortunately and the new mustangs are right hand drive for the uk takes it away again driving one of these now being left hand drive is actually a lot nicer than you actually would think because you can pull right over to the side of the road when going down our skinny little roads down here so it actually works really well not so well turning into some of the roads going left is easy turning right into the road you do have to overtake it and you think you're going to crash you don't though but you really do have to keep your eye on the ball when driving now being the column drive automatic you're fine with that it's only two pedals but the main worry is when you come to the first roundabout and you go round it and you feel like you're going to be over a bit you must make sure you keep over to the left hand side of the road now being a 1991 truck you don't get an awful lot in there I looked at quite a few of these, if I'm honest with you. The ones I was looking at were the F100s, the early ones, and 95s are popular as well. I didn't want the 2000 upwards. They're everywhere. I want to be slightly different. So I've gone for the old A-team sort of. Remember the A-team? It's funny when you watch the A-team. Oh, I digress, sorry. But I used to like that. You never notice that these guys, all the baddies, would jump into the back of the truck. They'd drive down the road and have a spill, a crash, bullets going everywhere, explosions and they get oh that was lucky you would never notice no one ever died you may in this if you don't pay attention so let's open the door and see what you get inside well you don't get a tom tom that's mine the dash unleaded you get fuel gauge oil temperature battery and water lights pull out one pull out two and down there, little switch, which no one talks about really, that little switch there, is your high beam. It's not on the stick, and you can't flash anybody. Washers is one slow, two full on. As you go the other way, that's intermittent. This is the fuel here, and I just love it. Front and rear, and when you put it on the rear, the gauge changes as well, so it tells you how much is in there. That is so nice. Stick this is your overdrive switch so in theory you've got eight gears because you've got one two three four auto and you can also have them on overdrive which i have all the time on and they're very nice and this is a fog light because we have to have fog lights here in the uk it does have on the ventilating system ac which does work and this isn't bad for monitor you and here's the reversing camera i'll show you that in a minute here's your mirror someone stuck a new one in there i like it now as long as you like red you're going to like the inside of these front and back window central locking this doesn't work on my motor speakers well they're not brilliant to be honest with you i might look into them now the seat underneath got a little bit of wear here but that's the only place and i put this waterproof down for the doggy and i put this down for us as well but the uh, seats are quite nice to be honest with you and there's a little bit of room behind here that you can stuff anything you need i've got a fire extinguisher showcase to catch fire and a couple of bits and underneath here you can't see them i've got some tools but you will notice this crook lock put it on the keys are really easy and they do get stolen good morning yes thank you a lot of runners around here it's quite nice really anyway back to the paint job it's absolutely yummy so what's left <laughs> hearing it that's coming up so miles per gallon 16 to 18 miles a gallon if you do not drive like a lunatic 
you do have to put your foot down occasionally i've done it and you do know you're going to use a bit of petrol doing it but you just smile when you do it and you're not going to hammer down the road 55 mile an hour she's happy and the reason why i say that this is a 1991 motor truck four by four it is not this is a two wheel drive two at the front four wheel drives you can get a lot less miles per gallon i didn't need a four wheel truck one anyway i would like to even jack it up but we're going to keep it pretty standard for the time being now it has got drum on the back disc on the front efi engine as well and that's what i like about this one the early ones are old carburetor these are efi so you're going to get the maximum amount of this one as well someone stuck a full exhaust system on here cherry bomb have a look on the other side in a minute so it goes four branch down to two and comes out the original one doesn't it goes to one side this one this sounds like a nascar when you floor it and i just love that absolutely love it but you need to do 55 miles an hour not 70 don't try and floor it round corners you're just not going to make it these trucks unless they're done differently slow methodical you're going to get there there's no clock inside you don't need it don't rush it if you're following someone and there's even a hint of a mist on the floor and you put your foot hard on the brakes this thing just locks and you keep going just like a boat absolutely going to keep going same as if you accelerate too fast the back wheels will light up do you know did i say it's front wheel drive earlier it's not <laughs> rear wheel drive forget i said front wheel drive keep messing with british motors rear wheel drive if you put your foot down too much they will spin so you know that if you brake too hard you're just going to lock the vehicle up and you're going to keep going into whatever you don't want to and if you try and accelerate too hard you're going to spin cornering as well do you know ranger and the mitsubishi l200s all came out the amount of people that crashed and burned in them because they were thinking you could drive it like a car they were doing 70 and the little bit in the road and they turned the wheel and all of a sudden duh, 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 and they'd roll and this is what this would do as well okay they're a bit boaty but you've got to put that in hand to know that you're driving a big american truck and you just make sure you've got a safe distance away from anybody in front of you and just drive really sensibly and that's what it comes down to morning all the other ones say hello, them two didn't, but hey, what'd you like? Miserable fuckers. Bye bye. I'll give action leader. Oh, I couldn't do that anyway. And he looked really knackered. <laughs> so drive it sensibly. Know you're going to get miles per gallon. And insurance can be a pain, okay? But there's so many plus sides to owning an American motor. The smile, and I don't know if you notice with my bike videos and my car videos, I like making them all just a little bit, I've said it before, Mark Savage, just a little bit original. And this is what you're gonna get with this motor. Polished and cleaned and not in crap weather because we're here just beginning of March. And it's taken me so long to do a video because it won't stop being windy, I'm using this mic. Some of you may detect I'm slightly out of sync and I apologize for that right talking over i want to show you quickly underneath of these <laughs> am i glad i bought some spare batteries <laughs> anyway quick look underneath and there's the two little cherry bombs are they're red normally but unfortunately they don't look very red and there's a nice diff the diff was done on this and the gearbox was done as well you see what I said about all the uh, no rust on this one? I love it. And there's one exhaust, and there's the other exhaust. Uh, the diff could do a bit of shining up, but it's chrome. I think I've seen the other ones come out here. Some of the big push exhausts come out the back here. I'm glad they're hidden away. I'm assuming this should be for the tow bar, but I didn't need a tow bar in this one. Now, the back of this. I'm not sure it's original. I've seen many of them. There was a night version that they did for this one as well, which came with a little fluorescent strip down the side. It was black and a little purple line. But the back's always different, so I think someone has put a different back on it. I was also told that these two side bits are different as well. And there is a little bit of ripple down there, but do you know what? Can you see there? beautiful beautiful gold silver and red fleck it is just beautiful i 
I meant to mention these tyres, 31 by 10.5 by 15s, all terrain. Big chunky, but they just don't grip. But <laughs> I would love to get some 33s on here, six inch jack up kit. But I know <laughs> they cost. I can find them between four and 800 pounds and I want a grand to deliver them. That's a bit too much, isn't it? I had this old torsion bar, I put it across because I want to put some rubbish in here and I can squidge it up, so it's well worth doing. But it's not a bad size load bed. Now, this is my dirty feet, but it's immaculate. And if I want to put anything in here, like a moped or a motorbike, I want to put a plate, just a bit of wood down, make sure it doesn't damage it, because I just don't want that happening in this one. It is literally, I think it's a show truck. Then windows open. <laughs> a little bit original there. I was thinking about doing the light as well, and I said, as long as you like red, you are in. <laughs> you don't like red, then not. This is your foot brake. This is your hand brake, and that's to release the hand brake. And here, obviously, is your open your hood or your, your, your bonnet. Brake accelerator, you can't go wrong. And some of my wires I should really tuck up there. There should be a cigarette ashtray here. Didn't come with it, so I've wired that in, to be honest with you, my little extra. I quite like it, to be honest with you. And a little stereo. So that's right, this is the Ford F-150 5-litre V8 XLT Lariat. Could you get much more of a mouthful? I don't think so. <laughs> Other side. What do you think? I put them on and I stuck them on, because it had nothing on it. I also put two stripes down the middle. I will show you a picture a bit later. What I've said looked rubbish and took away what I was trying to get. That's a little uh, solar panel. I don't think it ruins it. And in this side, we've got a little glove box. Can't really get much in there, to be honest with you. You know, you don't have these to lots of space, do you? But it's just so nice. I'm going to sit there. Dog or wife there. Dog or wife here. We can't decide where the dog's going to sit. Just let her decide, I suppose. I'm assuming she'll want to sit here and we're going to get a harness for her and she'll have the window. I do like these. <laughs> the old quarter lights, you know what I mean? Quarter windows. They're brilliant. But again, the central locking does not work. Doesn't bother me too much. It's fun I've gone from the Jag, which was everything auto, and I have to walk out here and open the, each door and then put the key ignition. <laughs> I've also thought I'd get some CB aerials. I mean, how much American find do you want to do to keep it looking American? This is just a beautiful truck. Headlights, I put in LED ones, and they were amazing. You shone the whole entire planet up, but no bugger. could see coming the opposite way I got flashed an awful lot if I'm honest with you I mean it was brilliant I mean these are slightly yellow lights they double up as side lights as well as indicators but I said you just they couldn't see so I had to take them out um, it's not the worst thing in the world um, I also bought some running lights, long ones. They turned out to be floodlights as well. So I just shone the whole planet up and it didn't go well. I don't think it suits the truck. So, simple key in ignition. We don't need a stereo one. Quick one in reverse. And there you get your reversing camera. It's not bad, is it? Yes, it does sound that good. Smiling. <laughs> and I do think it's got to do with them nice little cherry bomb exhausts. And yes, that probably cost me three pounds to rev it. Yeah. More fuel needed. But I reserve. Yes, I slam the door. I do like them. I just slam them. And this is your view. 
behind. And I've said you do have to love red. Anyway, get to my uh, driving place. Find the brake, pull your old uh, lever off there, and pop in and drive. I'm a cyclist. And you always have to remember to stay over the left hand side. staring at a fuel gauge it will drive you mad just don't do it just enjoy and I said to you you have to be careful when coming out of roads heads the car you're always further over and just cruise out remember to keep to the left hand side That's all you do, just keep to the left hand side. You know that then you're always going to be in your lines. You are six foot wide. You're not going to be able to jump out in any cars. But you just smile. Now, you know I love the motorbikes, I love fast cars. But I just seem to be happy that you do get dicks doing this though. I mean, to be honest with you, if he'd have pulled out, I would have slammed into him because you can't stop these trucks. Indicator's a bit antiquated. This stalk is indicator or moves your steering wheel up and down. I thought it was a flash, you know? And I said to you, the flash is on the floor and only works when you've got your lights on. And I'm not sure if you can hear the burble in the truck or not. Just put the window down. But it's just lovely. Indicate right. Indicator's down there, look, you see it flashing. And you have to take these rounds as though you're gonna crash. <laughs> and then this little thin road, just keep to the left hand side. Ready? You don't need to say anything. Bye bike! don't need to say anything dear it's just a lovely lovely noise and just a burble now that overdrive switch if I turn that off the gear ratio is a lot higher you lose a lot more juice but it sounds louder <laughs> it actually sounds louder the other day with a wife because she loves it is I turned it off it was a little bit of rain on the floor I put my foot down I mean don't know breaking no it wasn't breaking the speed limits but oh my god did it sound Amaze bubbles. There's no word for it. 
glitter sparkles on the outside <laughs> and glitter sparkles on the inside. I am going to keep the truck as it is now. If I can get a roll bar for the back and a couple of lights on, happy days. And I am going to polish it within inches of its life. You could eat your dinner off of it. I'm also going to detail under the bonnet hood, under the bonnet as well. That's got to be done. I, I actually enjoy that. And I'm going to be underneath potting around and see what I can do there. I'm, I'm going to get some mud flaps for it because the water does spray up a lot, even though you're going nice and slow. I mean, this is a faulty zone here. And if I'm honest with you, I'm not often doing that down here. And here I am cruising along at 35 miles an hour. It's a bit tight. Motorbike. And it's just nice. So I'm going to be keeping over. If you drive lorries and transit vans and so on, this is not going to be a problem for you at all. As I said, I've gone for the auto. I had the manual before and it can get a little bit funny because you're sitting in the left. It can get a little bit funny because you're sitting in the left hand side and have to change gear with your right hand and not left hand. So if you're first time going to get a truck, then I suggest getting an auto. It's a much more pleasurable experience. Where the hell is she going? That was right over then. But as I said, there's no sense of me trying to jam a brake on. I'm just going to hit whatever I've got. I think that's what I like about these old trucks in the 90s and the cars. You know, the old Cortinas and that lot that we used to build. Um, this would be tight. Is it going to be sensible and stop? Yes, it is. Thank you very much. I did what you wanted, did he? You could have a crash in these and you could sell it the next day. You know, where modern day crumple cars, I don't believe in that, might hit a pedestrian. I don't have any pedestrians actually, I'm not going to go there. Scrap that. Anyway, look at the foot down a little bit. Oh, listen to that noise. I've got, a, looks like a BMW right up my ass, but never mind. Is that Bentley? I can't tell. And nor do I care. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my um, USA edition. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Maybe I should stop that, shouldn't I? Um, yeah, no. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. Would I go and buy one? Well, I did. Would I suggest you go buy one? Make sure you go around the truck. Um, rust is just death for these trucks. A little bit of rust doesn't stop. It will keep growing and growing and growing and getting bigger. And then you're talking about repairing it in a spray job. I've been around this truck. There is not one ounce of rust all around the truck on the paintwork. Underneath is solid as well. So if you're going to buy one, you need to get some old clothes on like I normally wear. You need to get right underneath this truck and give it a good going over. If you don't know, then bring someone that does. Same as the engine, get as much service history as you can. This has got 79,000 miles on the clock. The only history I could find was all of the DVLA since 2004. And in 16 years of being in the UK that I can detect, it's done only 8,000 miles. So, am I thinking that... You know, in America, could done a hundred and odd thousand miles. You just don't know about the history. I can't find any detection of crashes. I can't find anything that's had a crash. I mean, you just don't know, do you? You don't know what you're going to get. But if you can get history of them, great. If not, you get what you get. How much to pay? Oh, that's a hard one, isn't it? You you buy these with your heart, not your wallet. Uh, I paid a lot, a lot of money from this, from a dealer as well. So I know I paid a lot for it, but it had what I wanted. The twin tanks, can't worry about fuel, the lovely paint job, underneath all done, the load bed done, and the interior I can mess around with, which I've done, and an engine, the little bits I wanted to do. I'll probably get an auxiliary belt for it. Everything else is brilliant. Really, really happy. Plugs, it had the really, really cheap one pound plugs in there. So I've gone for double copper coil ones. I didn't go for iridium. I mean, the difference in price was a lot of money. The other one's about pound 50. I got the five pound ones, iridium are like 10 pound. And it wouldn't have got an awful lot more out of this. I was thinking about getting a can in filter, uh, make it breathe more. Um, I don't know if any more fuel efficient. Um, I'm hoping it was. The last couple of MOTs, it said it's rich, but it's a five litre, so what do you expect? There we go. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves on the road. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out my Dakota video. That was a quite nice truck, but nowhere near as nice as this. Take care of yourselves. Let me know what you think. Bye-bye.
Yes, it's getting bigger and slightly more stupider. She's just over 10 weeks old and uh, not doing too bad if Mona's you. Still toilet training, still tough as a brush. She loves playing with toys. She barks at you if you don't pay her much attention. And she's got very sharp little needle teeth. We're still finding out that she thinks everything is food when it's not. Everything is edible. But she, uh, she does like playing. And she loves belly rubs. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this soon, am I? Right, just to end, my editing has turned to poo. Because my editing software ran out of its license, I've now had to use a free one, hence you're hearing all the mistakes I make about motor and car and yeah, so there's lots of little bits I'd have rather done, stop eating me, um, and I couldn't, so yeah, just bear with me, I'm going to have to pay for a better one. Meanwhile, dog getting bigger, and she's got a huge tail. <laughs> she's a good girl, really. Right. There you go, editing's rubbish. Thank you so much for watching, I've said that already. I'm trying to put this in for people that say to me, Mark, editing is not so good. I had the bit where I had the hat on and I was telling myself to go and I, I just couldn't fit it in. And the first software I downloaded, free, it's not free, all it means is free, then you've got to pay. This one's a cheap one, it's taken about three hours to try and edit it. Nah, there you go.